Hi, everybody. All right. This, McMur this Fort McMurray wildfire is actually becoming a very big deal. It's up to 580,000 hectares. And I wanted to bring you some mathematical proof uh, as to what the size and shape this was, but because I'm not certain about it on a map as far as where it is and where it isn't, the only thing I can do at this point is bring you the number of square miles and you can just about figure that out for yourself on a map of Canada around the Fort McMurray area. This is a big fire folks and I'm quite certain there's areas where this is not touched and there's lots of areas where this has touched so when people talk about this fire folks understand it is very large and there needs to be international aid. Uh, Tradu was very negligible uh, for not accepting international aid. It has gone up from the 250,000 acre or hectares to 580,000 hectares. And I wanted to show you real quick just how many square miles that is, folks. I had no idea it was this big. I now understand why they had to evacuate 80,000 people and why hundreds, if not hundreds of thousands of pets are displaced and or dead. So I went on Bing and I did a calculator search and I found out how big this thing is. Folks, 580,000 hectares is 2,239 miles. And the Fort McMurray wildfire is 580,000 hectares now. More BC firefighters have come to battle the blaze, which grows over 580,000 hectares now. It is over 2,200 and 39 miles. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an international emergency. People need to know what's going on and they need to get international aid in there. I don't care if it's contained in some areas and running loose in others. This is a big problem, folks. And from what I understand, it's now reached Saskatchewan. Um, there's talk of Manitoba, all sorts of different things, and I'm not looking at a map of Canada at the moment, nor am I reading anything that's familiar with this, but there's lots of talks of different things, so I'm going to keep it nice and simple and to the point for you. 580,000 hectares, ladies and gentlemen, is 2,239 miles. This thing is larger than anything it should be and Canada should ultimately declare a state of emergency to handle this. If I was in Canada right now I'd be calling for the arrest of Tradu and the immediate assistance of the United States government along with Iceland and or Mexico to handle this. This is a big problem, folks. This is no longer Canada's problem. This is about everybody's problem now. Fort McMurray wildfire remains out of control. Now covers more than 580,000 hectares, including a, a part of Saskatchewan, according to an update provided by Alberta government Saturday afternoon. On Sunday, 80 additional firefighters are expected to arrive in Alberta from uh, British Columbia to help battle the blaze, joining 2,200 firefighters already fighting wildfire across the province. The BC government said four unit crews will arrive in Hinton on Sunday, while an agency representative will f follow later the week. In the week, uh, they say the current level of activity or fire activity in the province, combined with decreased forecast up for fires has allowed them to deploy crews to help 
in both Alberta and Ontario. So understand, folks, it's in Alberta, Ontario, and it has reached Saskatchewan. I'll take back Manitoba. I apologize for that. That was a hiccup. <laughs> uh, currently, 2,267 firefighters are either already battling the blaze across Alberta or en route to do so. 800 of those firefighters are from the province, including 500 from outside of Canada. Oh, good. 298 firefighters from South Africa and 199 from the United States. Good. So we're actually starting to supply aid. That's good. They're being supported with the help of 95 helicopters, 263 pieces of heavy equipment, and 24 air tankers. So this is a big deal, folks. This is no longer about Canada being one thing or another. This is about handling this fire. And 2,239 miles square is too much of a fire. And I'm glad that somebody, including the United States, has now entered into the fight against this wildfire. Uh, you saw it there, too. South Africa sent 199, and the United States sent something like 269, something like that. So, this is a big deal, folks. Lots of people are involved. Lots of people are worried. And according to the Alberta government, folks, work remains on track to begin voluntary phase re-entry of wildfire evacuees on June 1. So in other words, folks, they're going to start phasing in re-entry of wildfire evacuees on June 1. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means these people can now go back to their homes and start rebuilding. I don't know if that means that they're going to start evacuating people again on June 1. And they're not doing it right now. I imagine it means that they have and will continue to allow people to go back to their homes on June 1. So, this is a big deal, folks. I'm glad to see that Trudeau's used his brains. So, thanks everybody. But more can be done.